All right, how you doing today? Examples two to four coming at you by Mr. Muscarella and my buddy Pythagoras, who are hanging out here, getting ready to teach you guys section seven three on similar right triangles. Now on this one, same thing as before. What I want you to do is go ahead and have your highlighters out and go through and set up those three triangles, the small, medium, and large ones, and then go ahead and fill in all the information that you can determine based on the picture. But I will say this, there is going to be a challenging piece here on the what just double checking to make sure that you guys do have your triangles oriented the right way. Make sure hypotenuse matches up with hypotenuse, short leg with short leg, and the long leg with the long leg of the each one of your three triangles. So go ahead and hit pause and write down all the information that you can based on the diagram that's provided. When you're done, come on back and see how you did. So go ahead and hit pause now. So how'd you guys do with this one? Hopefully you got all three triangles oriented correctly because that's going to be one of the biggest challenges of making sure that you have everything set up right. Once you do, the rest of it is going to be pretty, pretty straightforward. So if you need to go back and take a correction on that, go ahead and do that. Because if you take a look at the blue triangle, SR, and that's what this is just the way I like to draw them. SR is your short leg, so that goes, I like to draw it on the bottom along with side SQ. And then, of course, in the largest triangle, QR is going to be the smaller leg of that triangle. Now, when you go ahead and set up your proportion, your proportion, there's a couple different ways you could set it up. Here's one of them. So, one of them I could take the hypotenuse of the small triangle, the smallest triangle, QR, over the hypotenuse of big triangle. So that would be side PR. And then I could take the short leg of the smaller triangle. So I'd have SR there and then the short leg of the large triangle. And I've got QR there. Now sometimes for some people, let me go back here to the triangle for a second because I left this piece out and some people just kind of take a look at it like, well, all right, yeah, I got it. But if you take a look at side SP, you could actually figure that out to be six because sometimes you might need to do that. And that would be this piece right here. But in this triangle, this middle triangle, we don't need, we don't have enough information to compare that with either one of the other two triangles. So we just ignore that one, leave that one totally out of it. And now back to our proportion. So QR over PR equals SR over RQ or QR. And from there, you're just going to substitute your values in and then solve the proportion. So go ahead and do that. And when you're done, come on back, see how you did. Should be pretty straightforward for you from here. All right, go ahead and pause, and I'll see you in a second. So how did you do with it? Probably pretty good. The only thing you have to remember, after you substitute, when you cross multiply, you'll get y squared equals 27. Then the next step, you'll take the positive square root of 27. And the only reason we deal with a positive square root is because we're in geometry, where we're dealing with length or distance, and that's always going to be positive. When you get to Algebra 2 and other courses, when you're solving a quadratic equation, then you're going to have to do plus or minus. But for now, only have to deal with a positive square root. And then when you're done, when you simplify square root of 27, you end up with 3 roots of 3. And if you can't remember how to do that, just remember square root of 27 breaks down to the square root of 9 times 3. Square root of 9 is 3, and there you go. You've solved that one. Now let's go ahead here and take a look at example number 3. Same idea with this one. You could probably go ahead and do this one. It might be a little bit more challenging just because there aren't any letters around it. But go ahead and fill in all the information you can, and then let's see what we have from there. So how'd you do getting it set up? And again, we could find this other piece, the longer leg of the medium triangle. We could find that out to be 8, but eh, not needed because we got everything that we need in our other triangle. So we would set up our proportion, and again, it's up to you how you want to set it up. Uh, here's a little bit different way than the previous one. You could set up the hypotenuse of the short triangle to the leg of the short triangle. So k over 2 equals the hypotenuse of the large triangle over the short leg. So all of these are going to be kind of be set up very, very similarly. And then you'll just cross multiply. You'll get k squared equals 20. And then k is going to be the positive square root of 20. And as you should have that memorized by now, square root of 20 is going to be 2 square roots of 5. And if you forget how to do that, uh, the square root of 20 is going to be the same thing as the square root of 4 times 5. Now, the square root of 4 is a perfect square, so that's going to come out as 2 square roots of 5. And that's how you end up with k having a value of 2 roots of 5. So that's it for example number 3. Let's rock on and finish this up with example number 
four. By now, I think you could probably do this one totally on your own. So go ahead, fill it out, solve the whole thing, and then when you're done, come back and see how you did. See if your answer and my answer are the same thing. All right, so hit pause now, and I'll see you in a moment. So how'd you do getting this one set up? Hopefully your triangles are oriented correctly and you've got all that information filled in from there. It's pretty straightforward which way you want to go. Now I showed you two different ways that you could set this up and these there's two other ways in addition to this one but we'll go ahead and just present these two. And the first way, the way on the left, deals with taking the parts of the smaller triangle and comparing them to the parts of the larger triangle. So that's why you have 2 over x equals 5 over 2. The other way you could have started off, you could have said, you know, the long leg over the long leg. So 2 over 5 equals x over 2, short leg over short leg. So it just kind of depends how you want to set that up. Either way, when you're done, you should end up with 4 fifths. Now, this is probably one of the more challenging pieces for this chapter, but I think you guys will be all right with it. Just with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to get those triangles oriented, and you'll be on to solving all those types of problems like it's easy. All right, so that's it for this section. Be sure you watch the last example, example number five, coming up to you in the next video. All right, that's it for this one. Peace out.